I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from different parts of the world. Now here we have a very interesting question based on binomial distribution which has been taken from IV higher level paper 2 May 2016. The question is a bag contains balls number 1, 2 or 3. Balls are taken one at a time from the bag at random and replaced and the number is noted. Eight balls are to be taken at random. It is calculated that the expected number of balls numbered 1 is 4.8 and variance of the number of balls numbered 2 is 1.5. Find the least possible numbered 3 in this bag. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now clearly in this bag we have only one, two or three numbered balls. We don't know how many of each kind. But what we are given here is that the expectation for picking up ball number one is 4.8 and the variance for picking up 2 is 1.5. Now expectation is n times p, right? This is a random, uh, so this case is a binomial distribution. Right, so, so first since we know that the expectation for picking up one, so for getting one, is is basically given to us as 4.8. So if we have n number of balls which are on which we have one written, right? In that case, probability for one will be uh, let's write pi as the probability, right? So. So we know we are taking up eight balls, right? So eight balls are picked up. So this is equals to n into probability for getting uh, one, I should write, right? right. Okay. So we have uh, eight times the probability of one we don't know. So write P1 equals to 4.8, correct? So the probability for picking up one is 4.8 divided by eight. Correct. So that becomes the probability for picking up this ball. So which uh, you could write as, you could write this as 48 over 8, right? And, uh, you know, uh, we could use decimal values or we could just divide by uh, 80, I mean, right? So now we can divide by uh, 16, 16 times... Uh, 5 is 80 and 16.3 is 48. So we get the probability as 3 over 5. Okay. So that gives you the probability that out of 5 balls, 3 are with number 1. That's what it is. Okay. Now the second condition given to us is uh, the variance which is for picking up 2 is 1.5. Now the variance is this. We are now given variance. So variance for picking up 2 is 1.5, which is NPQ, right? So variance is NPQ, where P is the success and Q is not the success. We're talking about variance for 2, right? So for Two, we could write this as n is 8 for us, right? So 8 probability for picking up 2, right? And q will be 1 minus not picking up, right? That is what q is. And this is given to us as 1.5, right? You can write 3 over 2. Let me write 1.5. Okay. So that is what we are given. Now this is a quadratic equation which needs to be solved. So just open the bracket. Uh, so we get uh, 8p2 minus 
P2 square equals to 1.5. Okay. So, uh, let's rearrange and then solve it. So, we get, uh, let's take it to the other side. So, we get 8P2 square minus 8P2 plus 1.5 equals to 0. So, from here, we can... Uh, we can find what P2 is using quadratic formula. Let's figure this out, okay? So, let's take it here. P2 is equal to minus B, which is 8, plus minus square root of B square, minus 4 times 8 times AC 1.5 square root divided by 2 times 8, which is 16, right? So, we have two possibilities. Let's take this answer. So within the square root, we have a square root of 64 minus 4 times 8 times 1.5. Okay. So this is equal to 4. So we get 8 plus minus 4 over 16. Okay. So there are two possible answers. So let's do both of them. So what we get probability of 2, P2 will be, uh, 1, it could be 8 plus 4, 12 over 16, right? The other one is uh, take away 4 over 16, right? 4 over 16 is 1 over 4, and that gives you 3 out of 4. Now we already have probability 3 out of 5. So so we cannot have 3 over 4, so that we will discard. Right? So this will discard, this will pick up, because we already have probability of picking up 1 as 3 out of 5. If I take 3 out of 4, the addition will not be a probable answer. Correct? Probability sum has to be 1, right? Therefore, so the probability for picking up the ball number 2 is 1 out of 4. Okay. Now, as you know, the probability of all three should be 1, right? So, so the probability of picking up 3 will be 1 minus probability of 1 take away probability of 2, right? That means it is 1 minus, uh, we have 3 over 5, take away 1 over 4, correct? So, taking 20 as your denominator, we get 20 minus 4 times 3, 12 minus 5. So that becomes the probability for picking up the ball number 3 and uh, that gives you how much. So when you take away uh, 17 you get 3. So you get 3 out of 20. So the probability of picking up the ball number 3 is, is 3 out of 20. Now that gives you the answer. So that implies that if total is 20 balls, then number 3 is 3. Do you see that? So that is how we can answer this beautiful question. So I hope that makes sense. So this question relates to the mean variance and finding the unknown number of ball from the given situation. So that's a good variation to our probability distribution questions. So I'd like you to explore and check other examples from different test papers so that you get a fairly good idea on this topic of binomial distribution. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.